Hello, this is James Harvey, the professor of music theory at the College of Southern Nevada with 5-Minute Music Theory. Let's begin that 5-minute timer. This video is on what is known as the grand staff. And up till this point, we've learned two different clefs, the treble and bass clefs, and what the notes are using each of these clefs. And now it's time to learn about sort of a hybrid clef between the two. And I'm going to write a uh, vertical line connecting the two, and then a brace as well. And now I've created somewhat of a super clef that actually combines the treble and the bass clef, giving us a lot more room. Without that brace, this would be totally different. So this brace is very important. If I didn't have that brace in that uh, vertical line, that would indicate that we have one line of treble clef and then one line of bass clef, just like you're reading one line of text followed by another line of text. Now this is a combination of these two clefs. I'm going to write some pitches here. How about let's do the lines first. So we already know the notes that are on the lines and the spaces and even some of the um, ledger line notes for each of these clefs. So there's all the notes that are on the lines in both the treble and bass clefs. These don't change. They're exactly the same as they were when we covered them before. We have G, B, D, F, A, and then that's followed by in treble clef, the every good boy deserves fudge there. So again, that hasn't changed from how, when we learned them before. But notice that there are a few notes where which are represented more than once. There's a couple of Fs, there's a couple of Bs here, and that's just in the lines here. So in the next video, we're going to cover why that might be that there are multiples of the same letter. But this is the grand staff. And it's very important because some instruments, uh, primarily the piano, are uh, they, they read almost primarily music written using the grand staff. So it's going to be really important that we recognize the grand staff. And really, the concept is pretty simple. It's just combining a treble clef on top bass clef on bottom, a brace connecting the two, and then we get this sort of super staff. And both of these staves here count as one giant staff. So each each set is two, two staves. The grand staff consists of these two staves. And basically that's it. It's just a hybrid combination of bass clef and treble clef, which makes up the grand staff. Thank you.